KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. Due to the concerns over the recent increase of positive COVID cases, Special Olympics Guam has canceled their fall sports. Softball, badminton, and soccer will be put on hold until 2022. In a press release sent out, Special Olympics Guam is looking out for the health and safety of their athletes, volunteers, families, and sponsors. Most of them have underlying uh, health conditions. And uh, so we did, the board got together and um, we discussed the issue. We started looking at the, the decline in the hundreds of, of um, positive cases. So a decision was made that, that we go ahead and we cancel the rest of the season. Special Olympics will be hosting a virtual badminton competition in the near future. Florek says he's hopeful they can add a soccer competition too. Even with no activity over the last two years, ITC has allowed us to stay there continue to allow us to stay there, be able to operate out of there when we have, um, you know, Zoom meetings, as well as uh, virtual programs. That is, that is our central headquarters. So, so thank you to them. Thank you to GTA. GTA continues to provide us uh, communication to include internet. You know, Dave, thank you to you because I know every now and then you call me up and you ask me what's going on. Really appreciate that. And our athletes definitely appreciate that. Out of the $919,997 awarded to sports activities from the governor's youth and educational programs, the Guam Rugby Football Union for the Youth Sports Rugby Activity Program will receive $36,500. Yeah, because of the shutdown and us being a contact sport, a lot of our rugby athletes, especially the sort of high school guys, you know, missed a complete season. And because they did that, we sort of had this idea of like, well, why don't we try to put together some sort of like, you know, like you've seen the punt pass kick competitions for, you know, American style football. Do something like that as socially distanced, run drills and stuff, get everybody out there. So the funding is going to allow us to put a series of these camps on throughout the island in different locations and different fields for different age groups, different skill levels. Uh, with the idea of trying to keep our rugby skills alive, uh, you know, even in the age of COVID, uh, you know, trying to do it because we didn't have these competitions. So we, we're hoping that we can get that going, you know, COVID restrictions, you know, uh, dealt with appropriately and all that in the, in the coming months. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.